If you're using AOVs in Redshift, then you need to know about this setting for a dome light because I had noisy AOVs and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from and what setting to adjust. So let's take a look. So taking a look at the beauty render here, we can see that the noise doesn't appear to be that bad, but if we wanted to use the AOVs in compositing, and if you don't know what AOVs are, just let me know and maybe I'll make another video about that. If you wanted to use like the AOVs, let's check out the shadows. The shadows are incredibly noisy. And this is what I ran into when I wanted to use this in compositing. I realized this was way too noisy and I couldn't find the right setting. Well, the right setting for me was to adjust the dome light. So the dome light settings, if you go down here under all these settings and you drop down contribution, you can get to the samples of that dome light. And that's what we need to change. It starts out at a default 64, and I basically kept doubling that number until I arrived at a good trade-off between how long the render was taking and the quality and reduction of the noise. So. I ended up going to 2048 for my number. So we can save this render out by clicking this little button. And then we can take another quick render and look at the difference that the higher samples make. So now you can see what a big difference increasing the samples on the dome light does. We can look at the old one and compare it to the new one. It did increase the render time uh, significantly from 15 seconds down here, we can see on the right, to 46 seconds. So you'll want to balance this sample uh, number out based on your own needs. But let me know if you have any questions. That was a quick tip for using Redshift and Autodesk Maya. If you want to learn more, check out animatorsjourney.com and Digital Creator School to check out my other courses. Thanks for watching.